Okay, I'm going to work a couple of these problems for you. So this is from 4.5. And number 9 is from the book, from the homework in 4.5. To solve this, we're solving for t. So this is, we're going to require a log in order to solve this. So the first thing I'm going to do is isolate this exponential expression. So I'm going to divide both sides by 300. So what that is going to leave me with is 1.025 raised to 3t, and it's going to, I'm going to go ahead and reduce it. It's going to equal 13 over 3. All right, now you have two choices here. One choice is to um, add a log to both sides and then go from there, and let me do that, and then I'll show you the other way. So if I add a log... Plus 5 raised to the 1 plus 2x equals 40. All right, so the only thing I can do with this, the first thing I want to do is make sure my bases are the same. And I know how to write 25 with base 5. That would be 5 squared because 5 squared is 25. So I'm just going to rewrite it like that. And then I'm also going to split this apart because looking at this, well, let me write it out first. All right, so looking at this, there's not really anything I can do here, except I see that this has got a 2x and this has got a 2x. So if there's another way I can write this expression, well, I'm just going to use my laws for exponents, my rules for exponents. It tells me that when I have like bases, I'm multiplying, I can add the exponents. So I'm going to go the other way with it. I'm going to actually write this as 5 raised to the first power times 5 raised to the 2x. Notice that I just split that up. If I multiplied this back out, since these are like bases, I would add the exponents. And that's why I'm undoing that, per se. 
all right? And the reason I undid that was because now I've got this common factor in both of these terms, and I can factor that out. And that's going to leave me with, when I factor it out of this first term, I'm left with 1. And when I factor it, so I factored it out of that term, and I was left with 1. Then I'm going to factor out of this term, and I'm going to be left with 5 to the first power, or just 5. And that's going to equal 40. All right, at this point, I've got 5 raised to the 2x times 6 equals 40. And I'm back to basically where I was in that problem before. I've got an exponential equation. I want to isolate this exponential expression first. So I'm going to divide both sides by 6. And then it's up to you again. Add a log or change the exponential form into log form, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to add a log again. So I've got the natural log of 5 um, raised to the 2x equals 40 over 6. And then when I take my exponent up, oh, I forgot my log over there. I've got to add a log to both sides. Whatever you do to one side, do to the other side. Um, I'm going to take my exponent out front. And you can reduce 40 over 6 or leave it. It's up to you. All right, and so um, I'm going to divide both sides by the natural log of 5. And then I'm going to divide. Let me write that step out. And then I'm going to divide by 2. All divided by 2. And that is an exact answer. If it asks for an exact answer, you leave it in terms of logs. If it asks for an approximation, then go ahead and plug that value in your calculator. And this one, you should get approximately 0.59 or whatever. Again, whatever the decimal they tell you to round it to. All right, and then I'm going to do one more. All right, so this is a log equation. These two equations that we just did were exponential equations that I had to use logs to solve. Now, this is a log equation, and when you have a log equation, you want to go back to exponential form. Well, in order to go to exponential form, the first thing you need to do is condense your logs. You want at most one log on each side. So here, since I've got log base 8 and I'm adding to condense these two logs, my log and my base don't change. But when I'm adding to condense them, I multiply the two arguments. So I'm going to multiply x minus 4 times x plus 3, and that equals 1. Now, since I only have one log on one side, I can't just cancel out the log. But I can write this in exponential form. So my base is 8. My exponent, remember this whole log expression, it equals the exponent. So 8 raised to the first power is going to equal this argument right here, which is x minus 4 times x plus 3. And then I'm going to just solve this out. So I've got 8 because 8 to the first is 8. And then I'm going to multiply this out, foil that out, and that's going to give me x squared minus 4x plus 3x, which is minus x minus 12. Now this is a quadratic equation. You should recognize that by your exponent of 2. So I'm going to set this equal to 0 and hope it factors. When I set this equal to 0, I'm taking my 8, subtracting my 8 from both sides. So I get x squared minus x minus 20 equals 0. When I factor that, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me 20, that add to give me negative 1. So that's x minus 5 times x plus 4. And when I use my zero product property and set both of these factors equal to zero, I see that x could equal 5 or x could equal negative 4. Now, remember that you have to check these because in your original equation, your argument cannot be zero and it cannot be negative. So when I plug in 5 as one of my answers, I get 5 minus 4, which is 1, and that's a positive argument. I get 5 plus 3, which is 8. That's a positive argument. So 5 works. When I plug in negative 4, I get negative 4 minus 4, which is a negative number. That does not work because my argument has to be positive.